Now, let me tell you, music is magical. There's magic in those music notes you hear. What we're going to look at today is how music can often act as what's called a motif. So actually, characters in films often have musical motifs that help us to recognise that character a little bit more. Now, in this piece of music we're looking at today, we're going to see that happening. It's called Peter and the Wolf, and it's by Sergei Prokofiev. That's a tricky name to say. It was written in 1936, and you're going to see a video now all about Peter and the Wolf, and how each character in Peter and the Wolf is represented by an instrument. So the cat, for example, is represented by one instrument, the grandfather by a different one. And the way those instruments are used give you a sense of how that character moves, how that character might communicate, and it's all done through music. That's why it's so magic. So communication can be shown through just musical instruments. So watch the video. Make sure you're watching carefully because I need you to remember which character goes with which instrument because that's going to help you in a worksheet we do. Now the worksheets are in the description below and also then you've got a listening exercise where you're going to hear the instruments but you've got to try and remember which character goes with which instruments. That's quite cool. We're then going to look at two really important words in music. The first word is dynamics which means how loud or how soft or if a piece of music is moderate, medium in volume. And we're also going to look at the word tempo, which means how fast or slow the music is. So dynamics means loud or soft, tempo, fast or slow. And I will see you after the video so we can check how well you've remembered which instruments go with which character. See you in a bit. In Peter and the Wolf, each character is accompanied by a musical instrument. <laughs> Peter's music is played by the string instruments. The bird's music is played by the flute. duck is played by the oboe. The cat is played by the clarinet. Thank you. 
Grandpa is played by the bassoon. French horns. The hunter's footsteps are played by the woodwinds. And the gunshots by the timpani drums. So, to recap, the bird is played by the flute. The duck is played by the oboe. The cat is played by the clarinet. Grandad is played by the bassoon. The wolf is played by the French horns. Peter is played by the strings. The hunter's footsteps are made with the woodwinds. And the gunshots are made by the timpani drums.
same music over and over again. Yeah! I'm starting to feel like a robot. <laughs> but we're playing everything so perfectly. Why is it so meh? Come on, Hassan. We've got to make this better. We need to end this year with a bang. A bang? Yeah! A bang! A boom! A blast! <laughs> what you need are dynamics! Tchaikovsky? In the flesh! Let's go out with a bing bang bing bang boom! I can't hear you over the deafening dynamics! Oh, dynamics? That's to do with how loud or quiet the music is. Ah, lots of musicians use dynamics to make their music more dramatic. Changing the dynamics makes the listener feel different things. <laughs> A good one for that is Blur's song too, which starts off really quiet. Which is called piano. And then it gets really loud! <laughs> Tune! But if we like, the music can get quieter and quieter gradually. This is called diminuendo. Or it can get gradually louder, like in my old masterpiece. We go from very quiet... That's pianissimo, right? <sighs> oh, that's nice. Then get louder and louder. That's called a crescendo. All the way up to my favorite... Fortissimo! All right, guys, dynamics. Let's do this. Okay, start off nice and quiet. Pianissimo. Now let's get louder and louder. Into an epically crazy crescendo! Fortissimo, baby! Yeah! My work here is done. Tchaikovsky is offski. Got a 
a bee going now? Huh? My beats don't sound quite right. What's going on? Beats me. I told you guys we could do it. Our song is going to knock Mr Piper's socks off. Too bad it's about as exciting as his sweatshirts. Silence! Huh? That does not sound like my fifth symphony. You need duration and tempo. Beethoven, oh, I was just... Silence! Let me explain. Now this is Beethoven's fifth symphony. Cha 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 long. Oh, so the notes are different lengths. Speak up, Mr. Whisper. I'm a trifle deaf. I said the notes are... Silence! The notes are different lengths. Some are short and some are long. Okay, I got it. So, short... And long. So, that's duration, but what about the other thing? Tempo. Oh, I know this. Tempo is the speed... Silence! Tempo is the speed of the music. <sighs> and to demonstrate, meet my friend Zorba, the Greek. Zorba the who? Oh, I know that one. It's nice and slow. Adagio. But it doesn't stay that way for long. The tempo speeds up. Accelerando. Now we are playing really fast. The term for that... Silence! The term for that is Allegro. Haha, <laughs> I like you. Hey, Beethoven, what's your favourite fruit? Banana. -na. Okay, so we now know dynamics means how loud or how soft it is. We know tempo means how fast or slow. So what I want you to do is listen to those instruments again and you know now which character goes with which instrument and try and tell me what the tempo is of each character and what the dynamics is for each character. And finally today, what would be a nice thing to finish is to maybe listen to those pieces of music again and actually attach a character of your choice to those pieces of music. For example, this piece here. This is the wolf. But maybe I want to change that around and use a different famous character. Now, because it sounds quite sinister and quite slow, I might use someone like the Trunchbull in Matilda, who's quite sinister. Or I might think of a different sinister character from another story that I've read. And if maybe I'm listening to the cat, well, that to me, that piece of music sounds a bit like Sid the Sloth in Ice Age. I don't know if you've seen it, but if you have, you know what I mean. It's quite slow, it's quite sleepy, it's quite lethargic. So I want you to maybe listen to some of those pieces and think of a famous character you know from a film or a television programme or a book and see if you can, it's quite an imaginative way of listening to the music and putting your own character with that piece of music.
As always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and do share these videos with your friends so they can have a little bit of music fun at home while you're homeschooling. Thanks and see you next time.